He's still at a full sprint going into left, right, left. That pole drops down to level, level to the ground. The backhand is slightly ahead of the elbow. Then he shifts the pole up and forward. The hand goes forward and up in front of the shoulder here, that top hand. Gets to his right foot. There's the penultimate foot. And when he does that, this jump leg, jump foot, stays low to the ground. It's like a toe drag in a sprinter coming out of the blocks. It stays down low. That way he can get it down to the ground and transfer more energy into the track to maintain speed here. The other thing is here, his hands, top hand is up. It's slightly in front of his face. He's anticipating getting hit up high here. So when that happens, if this hits you up high, this is going to swing underneath. So he's got to anticipate that with this slight forward tilt into here, into there, to maintain this drive here in the shoulders and in the face. This top arm is soft here. If it was hard, then it would slow down the movement of the shoulders. So it's soft. That way he can swing his shoulders into the cord of the pole. The pressure on the bottom arm, his elbow is bent. The pressure on that bottom arm is not to push the shoulders back out of the cord, but to maintain the connection of the shoulders in the cord of the pole. That also transfers energy. He's holding this back, the hips and everything back here. That also transfers energy into the pole. What he has set up here is a multitude of levers, not a C to an I. It's not just two things like that. It's the shoulders swing in. He's got another lever here in the torso, in the mid torso. So he can transfer this muscle energy in the shoulders. Then he's going to transfer this muscle energy in the mid torso and then the lower torso, then the hips and then the quads. Even his lead leg is down and ready to swing like that. So he's going to swing his shoulders swing in. Then that mid torso swings in. He still has this back. He still has that back. He still has this back. The same here and there with the lead leg. That swings into the core of the pole. It's not so much that he's throwing this forward. It's this stays in the core of the pole. The pressure on there is because the pole is rotating over the box. So the pressure on that top hand is to maintain the shoulders down the core of the pole to transfer as much energy as possible in this takeoff to the pole. That energy is a sequence of moves, sequential motion, and muscle energy. By creating more levers in the sequence, the shoulders, the torso, the hips, the thigh, the knee, and the foot swinging down, the more levers, the more energy muscle energy in all these different groups can add up to transfer energy as thrust down the cord of the pole to transfer energy into the pole to load the pole to move everything forward as you can see there is still no angle here in the top in the shoulders